Welcome to Jerez and the penultimate round of the 2016 Euro Formula Open season. Leonardo Porcini has got the championship within his grasp. If he has two good races and Ferdinand Habsburg can't beat him, then the crown will be his. Let's have a look at the very best of the action. Unseasonally warm sunshine greeted the field in Jerez as Colton Herter led away from pole position at race one. Importantly though, Ferdinand Hasberg couldn't get the jump on Pulcini through turn one and then got edged out by Mencharka further around the first lap. Behind there was some great dicing, Nikita's Lobin having his hands full with Anthony Patak and Tanar Sathian Thirakul trying to punch their way through. Pulcini though was as ever the star, a scintillating scrap with Harrison Scott. British driver making his debut for the Teo Martin Motorsport team did a fine job keeping the Italian behind him in the early stages but eventually the pressure was to pay and Pulcini able to dart past despite the very best efforts of Scott the Italian was able to steal a march as they swept through turn seven and thereafter he was released to set off in pursuit of Damiano Fiorvaranti Fiorvaranti picked up a penalty but nonetheless Pulcini was able to pass him on track, move up into second position, but he couldn't chase down Colton Herter, the American, at taking his third victory of the season, and in equally as emphatic fashion as his preceding two victories at the Red Bull Ring. Second place, though, for Pulcini was enough to give him one hand on the title, and the Campos team knew it, with Damiano Fiorvaranti completing the podium, and the frustrated Habsburg down the order. Celebration, then, on the rostrum for Colton Herter, race and rookie victory. All came together like Red Bull Ring. Uh, the car's been amazing all weekend and we just put it together and uh, it's a good end, yeah. What do you expect for tomorrow? Uh, I think we got to do the same, follow it up, uh, do a double win this weekend and uh, hopefully pull an even bigger gap tomorrow. Race two and the championship rivals were on the front row, but crucially, Pulcini got his nose in front to lead the way into the first corner. Stayed like that, Pulcini was going to be able to take the championship. Behind, unfortunately, there was contact between Fiorvaranti and Moreno. It put the Italian out of the race and the Campos driver to the very back of the field after a pit stop. Meanwhile, Nikita's Lobin and Kevin Andres were enjoying a great tussle further down the order as there was a similarly superb scrap ongoing for third as Anthony Patak was frustrated retirement. Harrison Scott continuing his strong debut weekend had pressure from Colton Herter throughout the entire race as Ferdinand Habsburg in second could do nothing about chasing down and then passing Pulcini so it meant it was the seventh victory of the season for the Italian and one that gave him and the Campos Racing the Euro Formula Open crown for 2016. The Italian absolutely jubilant as he crossed the line. Ferdinand Hasberg chasing him all the way for second place, but he just couldn't quite find enough. Delight for Pulcini, he is the 2016 champion. Campos Racing celebrating as Habsburg claimed rookie honours and the rookie title. Wow, after the race of yesterday, I, I knew that I, it, was, uh, it, will, it was going to be a difficult race, but I did an amazing start. I just passed Ferdinand in the start and uh, start to be start to be focused on be constant every lap and uh, the gap was amazing the pace was amazing we are champions 2016 thank you a lot uh, to my team campus racing they did a very good job so with two races to go Pulcini has taken the title and Habsburg is secure in second but the fight for third will go to the wire Herter stealing the march on Menchaca this weekend